up back at the start of the second quarter. Northwood is up 23-2. Northwood's basketball. Fred Whitaker at the top. Looks like it's that high-low play again. Out to Max. Out to Ian. Ian in front of the rim. He throws a little jump hook up. Misses it. Ball secured by Weston Allen. Number 13 brings it up. Surveys the floor. Max Frazier's on defense. High screen set. Ian switches. They talking, communicating. Out to number 10. Number 10 to another screen set. Uh, Ian Hedge got back to his man. Coach Brown saying, great job. Another screen set. They go to switch it. They run it. Another Hedge. They're doing an awesome job at hedging out, making sure that nobody comes off that screen. This is what you call dominating defense. This is what you call dominating defense. A nice little pocket pass. Number 30 picked this dribble up. Number 3 has it. He pulls up. Bang! It is 23 to 4. That was sensational defense by Northwood. Sometimes you have great defense, but slightly better offense. And in this particular case, Weston Alamance hit the jump shot from the left, the left, uh, the left uh, corner area. Out in front to Ian. Ian goes up. Referee calls a foul before he goes up in the act of shooting. It is still 23-4. Northwood with six minutes, 55 seconds left in the second quarter. It is uh, Northwood ball. Break out to Frazier. Back to the uh, inbounder. He knocks it in from that short corner. It's 25-4. That is absolutely ridiculous. As a coach, that should never happen where the ball goes, the ball is inbound, and it goes right back to the shooter. He walked ref. He got to call that ref. Wake up. All right, ref can't call it. It is 25-4 for six minutes, 38 seconds left in the second quarter. Looks like uh, Weston Allen man putting a little bit of token pressure on him for court. Fowler got the ball in the middle. He brings it up, stays in the middle. He drives it. He goes up. In that particular case, I think Fowler did a little bit too much. All I want him to do is bring it up, get the ball into the offense, and let our magic work. Every time Northwood has gotten to the offensive sets, Western Alamans can do nothing about it. So don't rush it. Northwood in that one through one. They're back to the corner, number 23. He sees the uh, he sees the help come over. He sees the help come over. He bobbles it. And the ball goes to uh, and Northwood steals it. And actually, he fouled the kid from Northwood, but the referee called jump ball. It's all good. Bottom line is, Western Alamance's ball. It's Western Alamance's ball. They're bringing it up under their own basket. Back out to 13, reverses it out, reverses all the way back to the right, back to the wing area, three back to, uh, to number 12. He comes off the screen. They switch it out. Max Frazier playing defense. Max Frazier all over him like a wet blanket. There you go. He's still surveying. Back up to the top. Back to three. Number 13. Notice the ball never touches the paint. He walked ref. It never touches the paint. Max Frazier got the ball. Oh, that's that. Man, Max Frazier damn near killed him. That's a charge on Max Frazier. It is 25 to 4 with 5 minutes and 41 seconds left. Hey, man. All right, all right. Doing well? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. It is Western Alamance's ball. I thought he was playing football out there for a second. It's all good, though. But, you know, it is, I think he was trying to do a Euro step, but it didn't quite get all the way over. He didn't, he didn't get all the way over. Western Alamance bring the ball up again in that 1 3 1. Back out to 12. 12 kicks it back out to number 11. He does okie doke, pulls up from the nail, banks it in. Man, 25 to 6. Western Alamance up. Drake Powell brings the ball up. Number 11 trying to DM up a little bit. Drake don't like that. So that means Drake will go. There it is. There goes that man again. When he makes his mind up, there ain't too many people can do anything about it. Max Frazier steals it. Let's see what he does this time. This time he's smart. Gets rid of it. Back to Whitaker. Whitaker goes up. Frazier misses the, uh, the tap in. Ball secured by Weston Alamance. Weston Alamance looks. Brings it up. Drake Powell trying to stop the ball. He advances number three. Out to the corner. Number 12. Number 12 looks. Comes around. Back up to three. Back up to the corner. Number 11. Back out to 23. 13. Drake Lake. There you go. They're moving the ball around. Every time they've done this, They've hedged out. One of the things that I'm going to be curious about with Eston Alamance is, are they going to try to split the, split the hedge next time? 
He makes it all the way to the rim. The rim. Ooh, there you go, Jake Layton. And Jake Layton, he takes the ball up. He's going. And one again. This was a beautiful play by Jake Layton. He stole the ball. He went in line to in line. Nobody stopped it. He gets all the way to the rim and he knocks in the layup. It is now 29 6, Northwood up with four minutes and 18 seconds left. Jake Layton shoots it, misses the front end, and it misses the free throw. Ball secured by Western Alamance. They bring the ball up. Number 11 goes all the way up, pulls up from the top of the key. Rebound secured by Ian. Drake advances the ball, surveys the floor. Pulls it back to the uh, right, right wing, rejects it, comes back around, skips it over to uh, Jake Layton, and that left slot, back to Drake, right wing. He surveys, it looks like Max is asking for the ball, big boy basketball, he skips it out to Jake Layton, he goes in for that little, that little in-between shot from the short corner, misses it. Looks like he's going to reverse it back to uh, Drake Powell, Drake Powell to Whitaker, back to Max Frazier. Frazier out to Jake Layton, pump fake, goes in, jump out, box shots, gets blocked by number 11, but he fouls him in the uh, act. It is 29-6, Northwood, with three minutes and 32 seconds left. I like what's going on with Jake Layton because he realizes his shot isn't all the way there, so he's taking it to the hole, and a lot of times when you do that, good things will happen. He goes to the hole, if he misses the shot, chances are he's going to get fouled. He gets on the free throw line. He makes a couple. Then he'll get the confidence together that he'll be able to knock that shot down. Nevertheless, it's 30 to 6. Northwood up. 3 minutes, 36 seconds left. Western Alamance takes it to the rim. He saw somebody coming, made a business decision, and decided to kick it out. Northwood tips it out, deflects it out of bounds. It is 30 to 6. Northwood with 3 minutes, 6, 3 minutes, 19 seconds left. Western Alamance takes it out on the left. Side, ball goes number 11. Jake Lake plays defense. 11 surveys the floor. He fakes like he's driving. Back to 24. Drake going number 12. They switch it out. Back out to uh, 10. The issue here is Western Alamance cannot get the ball in the paint. Every time they set a screen, they'll switch it or they'll hedge it. And they'll keep it on the outside. And they force them to shoot contested jump shots. And ultimately, what's going to happen here is it's going to be a bad shot. North is going to get it. Ian secures the rebound. Out to Drake. Drake pushes it. Look. Surveys the floor. Out to uh, number one. He takes to the rim. Bang! It is 32 to 6. Northwood is up with two minutes and 35 seconds left. We're still in that 1-3-1. One, one. They're in the basic 2-1-2 two, two set. He forces it to the middle. They got bailed out that time. But again, this is what happens when you keep that mental pressure on people. You start to break them. They start to crack like an egg. Then the game gets out of hand. Next thing you know, it's a 40-point game, and the clock is running. And that's what's probably going to happen here, folks. So enjoy it while you can. 32 to 6. Northwood up. 2 minutes, 27 seconds left. Northwood picking up. They're still in that 1-3-1. They're still applying that mental pressure. All right, they're in a they're in a straight they're in a straight man now. They're in a straight man. Good out to the uh, wing, brings it up to the top, back to the corner. Number twelve, number twelve looks. Nothing is there. They look for a dive cut. Nothing is there. Out to fourteen. Good. Back up, back out to the, uh, the wing. Misses it. Drake looks at it, surveys it. Out to Layton. He looks. Nothing is there. Gets it back to Max Frazier. Max Frazier goes in. Big boy basketball. That's big boy basketball. Frazier was looking to go in heavy, and I wouldn't be surprised if he was looking to flush it down. But the rep said he got a little bit too aggressive and caught an offensive foul. That's, that's the second time Frazier went in and got called for an offensive foul. So now the coach is like, okay, we don't want him to get an extra foul. Let's move him back and let's protect him a little bit. Western Alamance brings the ball up. Frazier knocks that ball to the next state. It is 32-6 Northwood with one minute 39 seconds left. Looks like the coach got Max Frazier up to protect him so he don't get that third foul. Western Alamance gets the ball out to the wing. He fires up a three. 
misses it, air balls it. Drake picks it up, brings it up, serving the floor. They don't stop, he's going right to the rim. He kicks it back out for number one. He fires the three, misses it. Gus Ritchie uh, secures it. That's big boy basketball. Now referee, I don't know about that one, Mr. Referee. He, had, he didn't have his hands on that ball. If anything, they fouled him. But I'm gonna let that go. It's 32-6 Northwood with one minute, 24 seconds left in the second quarter. Northwood basketball, ball goes out to Fowler. He comes off Gus Ritchie's screen, he finds a three, bang! This is the third or fourth three-point shot he has had in this game. It is 35-4-3. It is 35-6 Northwood up, one minute, five seconds left. This is what we call a defensive masterpiece. I love basketball like this. It's not all about the offense sometimes. It's about whether you can stop the other team. Because if you can stop the other team, no matter if you have an off there or not, you're still in the ball game. So this is an example of we're not only stopping them, but we're also clicking on offense. And as such, we're doing great. 35-8 Northwood. Kid made a little drive to the rim, got to the paint, threw up a little floater. Western LMS steals the ball. He pushes it hard. Jake Layton goes up. He drops the shot. He kills it. They mug him. Finally, the referee calls the foul. That was a beautiful one down by Jake Layton. Blocked the ball, secured the rebound. He goes up to push it. They mugged him on the way. Called the foul. It is 35-8 Northwood. 28.8 seconds left. Looks like it's a one-in-one -one situation. I wouldn't be surprised. If we make this, we end up with the ball back. Northwood ends up with the last shot in the half. Northwood probably. This could be a very interesting sequence. 35 8, 28 seconds left. Let's see what happens. Late misses the first, the front end of a one and one. Misses the front end of a one and one. And hey, don't worry about it, Jake. Get the next one, son. Get the next one. Sometimes the shot not falling, but you're playing defense and you're doing all the other things. That's the thing that counts. Now with 27 seconds left. Let's see if Western Alamance holds the ball for the last shot or if they turn it over, give Northwood the ball, and they end up getting the last shot. It looks like they're holding the ball a little bit. They move the ball. Ten seconds. Looks like Western Alamance is holding the ball. They get it out to number 11. He surveys the floor. He's going to come off the screen and just fire it up. There it is. Number 14. They don't even get a shot up. He gets it up. He misses it. It is 35 to 8. Northwood is up at halftime. And as I just stated a second ago, this is what we call a defensive masterpiece. As always, you're not always going to be able to get your shot to go, but if you play defense and you limit or stop the other team from scoring, you are always in the ball game. We're at the end of the second quarter. It is 35-8. Northwood is up. We'll see you at the third quarter. 